Hello and welcome to today's webinar presented by Accountants World. Our presentation today is three ways to boost your bottom line using the cloud. My name is Div Bansali. I'm with Accountants World. We'll be getting started in about three or four minutes here at the top of the hour. Just wanted to remind you, um, if you're looking for a different way to connect in terms of audio, you have two options. Uh, you can use your computer speakers or dial in via phone call. Simply go to the audio tab on the GoToWebinar control panel and you can select whichever option is better for you. It's presented by Accountants World. My name is Div Pinsali. I'm a Vice President with Accountants World. And our topic today will be three ways to boost your bottom line using the cloud. Joining me today is Dave Minnell. Dave Minnell is the Director of Product Development at Accountants World. Oh, let me actually get this showing here. Uh, Apologies for not showing that before, so hopefully everyone is seeing our presenter screen at this point. Um, so joining me today is Dave Minnell, Director of Product Development at Accountants World. Uh, Dave has over 25 years of experience in developing software solutions for accountants. Uh, and as I mentioned, I am the Vice President of Marketing at Accountants World and have about 15 years of experience leading marketing efforts at various technology companies. We're excited to talk to you today about how technology and the cloud specifically can help to create both new opportunities for growth for your practice as well as opportunities to grow with your existing clients and your existing offerings as well. A brief word about Accountants World. Um, the founders of Accountants World created the company about 15 years ago, Chandra and Charda Pansali, and they started it with a single focus and that was to harness the cloud to help accountants revamp their practices and raise their relevance. Accountants World has been the recognized pioneer in cloud computing, for solution, uh, cloud computing solutions for accountants. We like to say that we've been developing cloud computing solutions for longer than the term cloud computing has existed. We now offer a complete, fully integrated suite of seven different cloud-based solutions. And this is called the Power Practice Bundle, and we'll be talking more about that later. This suite covers write-up, trial balance, bookkeeping, payroll processing, document management, client portals, practice management, after-the-fact payroll, website creation, and much more. We were the first company to create a full, uh, fully cloud-based professional system for accountants for both the accounting and the other services you see here. Um, all the solutions are fully integrated with one another, so you don't have to worry about data integration, you don't have to worry about uh, updates, etc., because it's fully cloud-based. Um, and another thing that differentiates accounts for all is that we make an uncompromising commitment to you, the accountant. We never sell any products directly to your clients. So unlike most other cloud solutions providers in the accounting space, um, we sell directly to accountants, and so we only thrive by first helping you to thrive as well. Accountants World has been recognized for its exceptional products and services. Our flagship accounting solution, Accounting Power, as well as our live payroll processing solution, Payroll Relief, have both been recipients of the CPA Technology Innovation Award, and both have received the highest possible five-star rating from CPA Practice Advisor this year in 2016. This is a brief look at some of the top 100 firms uh, who are using payroll relief or other accountants world solutions. Many of these firms are using payroll relief to process anywhere from 50,000 to 100,000 checks a year bringing in a quarter of a million to a half a million or more in revenue. And a lot of times they're doing that with 40 to 60% margins. This year, Accountants World will be processing about $4 billion in payroll transactions. Now, the vast majority of firms we work with are not top 100 firms. But the point here is whether you're a one-person firm or in the top 100, we offer the robust award-winning solutions and the affordability to help your practice thrive. So before I turn it over to Dave Minnell, um, I'd like to talk a little bit about what you're going to learn in this presentation today. You'll learn about the three ways to boost your bottom line, and most of this, uh, most of the benefits we're going to expose you to are available without adding any clients or staff. We know many accountants are, um, are skeptical about the idea, about the concept of trying to aggressively market to add new clients at this point. It seems like a zero-sum game. And we know that hiring new staff in order to grow um, means also adding more stress and more burden on you, the, the accounting professional. 
Um, so we wanted to talk about how you can achieve efficient, effective growth. We're looking to increase the profitability of the services that you currently offer. We're looking to help you to offer services that were previously difficult to offer or simply not very profitable in the past. And we're looking to, uh, to be able to add more value to the businesses of your existing small business clients. By accomplishing these goals, you're also going to have another side benefit, which is that you're going to raise your own relevance as an accountant and strengthen your client relationships. We believe that the techniques we're going to be teaching today not only grow your bottom line, but they also grow your client's loyalty. Um, so we're talking about short-term growth as well as long-term viability there as well. In order to, um, to really be able to experience the benefits that we're talking about today, we believe there's two things that you're going to need to succeed. Number one is to have the courage to break the status quo. I think the fact that you're here means that you want to do what's good for you and for your clients. Um, but it's imperative that to take advantage of the techniques you're about to learn, you have to be willing to break the status quo. You have to be willing to do things in a different way than you've been doing it before. Number two, um, the benefits are going to be maximized if you have at least 30 accounting clients. Now, if you don't have 30 accounting clients, does that mean that the does that mean that the steps we're going to talk about here today are not applicable to you? No, they will still be able to benefit from them, but the maximum benefits are going to be seen from people who have at least 30 accounting clients. And the reason for that is the tax is a shrinking business, but the cloud has created tremendous opportunities for growth in accounting. So, if you service 30 or more accounting clients, you're going to maximize your ability to see a significant increase in your profits. In terms of the tools that you'll need, as I mentioned before, the Power Practice System Bundle. It includes a professional accounting system, accounting power, website relief, cloud cabinet, which is our document management and client portals system, uh, practice management solution called Practice Relief, after the fact payroll, and a directory listing product to help you get uh, your practice known by new potential clients who are searching for you on the web. Um, Only Accountants World gives you this entire suite of solutions to boost your bottom line. So if you feel like the techniques we talk about today are relevant to your practice, I think it's important to know that nobody else out there offers the full suite of solutions integrated to help you achieve all of the things we're going to talk about um, the way that Accountants World does. Um, and another advantage is because it's a fully integrated suite, um, you don't have to worry about data transfers and you're getting maximum affordability, which we'll talk about at the end here. So at this time, I'd like to turn the presentation over to Dave Minnell, who will be walking you through some of the capabilities uh, for growth that are available to you. Okay, thank you, Divya. Now, I just want to make sure that uh, I can be heard and that you see my screen. Yes, we see the Tools You Will Need screen. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so let, let me get started. And I'm going to be showing our basic products. First, I'm going to go through just a little bit of what uh, Accounting Power and Payroll Relief can do, and then I'll show you how they can really help you uh, improve your profitability to be able to offer better things to your clients. So first, when uh, either you, your staff, or your clients go to go into the program, you're going to access it through your website. And um, nothing's on your PC. Everything's on the, the secured Amazon web servers. Uh, if uh, you already have a website, uh, you can log in through your website. We can help you set it up. And we also, also offer uh, website relief, which this is an example of, uh, of, of the product. One thing you'll notice, I'll, I'll probably mention it again, is it will be branded to your firm logo. This is like a little test firm that we have set up here, Mutual Growth. So they just click over here on Login and then either you or your staff or your clients will be logging into the program. After that, the next step is you would come to the main portal page. And from the main portal page, this is a link to all the different applications. This displays according to um, which products you have, and it also displays a product according when your staff logs in or when your um, 
clients log in according to what uh, what products they've been given access to. And it gives a little bit of different information. Once again, here's your uh, here's your logo branded to you. You can see when webinars are upcoming. You can see what webinars have been done. So I'm going to just briefly go into Cloud Cabinet. Cloud Cabinet is a uh, it's like a client portal. It's a file management system. It integrates uh, very well with the accounting power and with payroll relief. Um, when uh, you do financial statements, they can automatically go into the cloud cabinet so your clients can get them. If you're doing payroll, paychecks can be automatically put into the cloud cabinet so the clients can just uh, access them from there and print them out. It's a, a pretty powerful, it's got very powerful search capabilities. Uh, you can control who can view which directories. You can give your clients the rights to see directories, not to see other directories. And, and there's a lot of different features that are available at this point. It's not really um, what I'm trying to show in this webinar. So accounting power. One of the main things about accounting power that is different than a lot of other systems is that it's one unified accounting system. We have the professional system, which will have write-up, trial balance work, financial statements, and we have things like alerts and client management and uh, a lot of other things in there. And also built into the same thing is a bookkeeping module that can either be for your clients to enter all their accounting work or for you to be doing work, which I'll show later for your clients. And this has the things you would come to expect in a package like that, banking, sales, invoices, expense invoices. It's also very comprehensive, and the examples of that are that we have job costing, we also have inventory, and we have consolidations. So because they're all in one spot, there's no problem about uh, backing up data, getting data from your clients, making adjustments, getting it back to your clients, what version software do your clients use. All those things don't really matter here because you're all working on the same client, same exact database. If your client makes a change, you can see it right away. You make an adjustment or you do something, your client can see the results right away. So first let me just go in a little bit, counting power. This is the Accounting Power main screen. Once again, I guess I've said it too many times, but it's uh, branded to you. Your clients will always be seeing your name. It always brings you up to the forefront, not, not the name of some other, uh, some other software or something. They're going to see your name as the prominent thing there. So first I'm going to show just traditional write-up. Write-up is a big piece of work for a lot of accountants today. And um, if you're going to be doing traditional client write-up, there's a few things that are important. You've got to be able to have fast, heads-down entry. And we, we do make it so that uh, it's set up in order to make that easy. Uh, like when you go to enter the date, you can type in the date. You can change dates up and forward and backwards by just using the arrow keys. As soon as you enter a uh, pay, will def default to the uh, default expense account. Reference numbers will automatically update for you. The uh, date will automatically update for you. If you ever need to make a correction, you can just click right on the line over here. It brings it over, and you can make a, a correction. We have um, little hash totals here, so if you're you're entering or your staff is entering. Um, from a uh, bank statement or something, when you get done, you'll see, yeah, there were, of course, it wouldn't be three. There'd be maybe 83 or 103. But you'll see, oh, yeah, there were three transactions, and the total of all uh, cash disbursements should have been 3675 So at the end of entering everything, it makes it easy to see, yes, I did get at least the numbers were entered correctly. The trial balance, you'll notice when you see our trial balance, it looks like a trial balance that uh, accountants really are familiar with seeing. It has the beginning balance, it has the transactions, you've got the unadjusted balance. 
you can see what the adjustments were. You see the adjustments. You can enter tick marks, marks and notes. You have the ability to also customize how the screen looks. So if you wanted to uh, maybe just show debits and credits in one line or, or add another column for another reason, select one of our other columns, you could. And in the program, anywhere when you're using the program and it's in uh, blue, that means you can drill down to the, to the transaction. So if I wanted to know where this depreciation number came from, I would just click on that line and it would take me to the adjusting entry. And just as a, an aside, I'm not really going into it here, but there's a lot of places where you can attach uh, documents to, um, to different things. So if I had had a complicated calculation or something behind this adjustment, I could attach a document right there showing it. If I, you come back later, you'll be able to see exactly how it was arrived at. Accounting Power has a complete set of financial statements. They're um, in one pass, you can print a balance sheet, an income statement, statement of cash flow, retained earnings. You can have a cover sheet, a table of contents. You can have the accountant's report or letters. And these letters are always um, up to date to the latest, uh, latest pronouncements. They've all been changed recently, or at least in the last year that might be considered recently, because of SARS-21. You also have the ability to have footnotes. There's a lot of different options you can have when you're doing financials. So right out of the box, you can get good professional looking financial statements the way that an accountant would would expect an accountant a financial statement to look and you also have the ability to go on go further and do a, a lot of grouping and and other choices that makes it uh, powerful out of the box even more powerful when you customize so that's like a, a basic overview of accounting power now I'm going to give you a little bit about payroll relief. Now payroll relief is uh, really the first of the industrial strength cloud-based payroll processing center. It was created exclusively for, for accountants. As Divya men mentioned, our products are all made for accountants. They're not made for, for the end user. They can be used by the end user. You can give them rights and permissions in there, but they're made for accountants. Uh, it, it eliminates compliance headaches. It has the highest possible level of automation. You can really uh, eliminate data entry and check printing almost completely. You have the ability to batch processing. So let's say when the end of the year comes, you've got to print out all your W-2s. Once they're ready, you can choose 10 different employees or however many, I mean not employees, companies, and you can batch all the W-2s in, uh, in one swipe. So this really allows you to turn payroll processing into a highly profitable, no-hassle service. This is because with the cloud, the computing power can become so much stronger than what it, you used to be able to have just on, uh, on a local uh, computer. The payroll snapshot, this is a place where the accountant can come and he can view his practice or is the payroll portion of his practice in, a, in one convenient location. You can come here, you can see all of your clients on one screen. You can see like when the next pay dates are, when the, pro, when the uh, process date is. You can see if the pay, payroll has been done. You can see when the next pay dates are, I mean when the next ta tax due dates are. You can see if anything's passed due. You can come in here, let's say if you wanted to to see, well, what's coming up now as far as the next pay date, you can click right on the heading and it would sort the whole the uh, whole list of clients for you. So the ones that are needed now would come right to the top. This is just to give a, a quick view of uh, one of the ways that uh, you would do payrolls. We, we have a little screen here. It's like a spreadsheet. You come in after all the employees and stuff are entered. You enter what their regular hours, what the overtime hours, uh, vacation hours, and, and things of that nature, all the employees. You can set it up so it'll always default to, the, uh, to what it was before. 
And now in order to make this so that there's not a lot of work for you, what you can do is before you're ready to do the payroll, you can send this, uh, this out as a spreadsheet to your clients. Your clients then get it. It has all the default hours already there. They can either change them, leave it alone, add any overtime or anything else that was done special, and then just send it right back to you. So what that does is it allows you with, uh, with a click to send the file to the client. It allows the client to easily fill it out. They send it back. And instead of having to enter the hours, they're automatically imported into the system, really saving a lot of time and effort there. <coughs> so payroll relief, it has complete payroll computation for the federal, for all 50 states, localities. You can have direct deposits of employee and contractor paychecks. We take care of the electronic filing of of the quarterly and yearly federal and state tax forms. We take care of the payments of federal and state taxes. It includes all the year-end processing, uh, W-2s, W-3s, 1099s. Also, accounting power allows um, preparation of 1099s. So you can uh, enter all your information, like when you're um, Doing the write-up work, you say who is subject to 1099, we'll calculate all the totals for you, and at the end of the year, you can uh, print, the, print the 1099s to give them to the clients, and you can also uh, then file them electronically. And also, there's a lot of comprehensive reports. Uh, of course, there's the standard payroll reports, like the payroll register and things of that nature. But there's also reports dealing with 401k, uh, workman comp to help you with workman comp audits. Um, just uh, many different reports that are there to help, to help you out. And you have a lot of options in there when you're doing them in order to uh, select the periods or um, to filter out certain information when you're doing them. And they can also all be exported to Excel too. So that gives you an idea of what we have. But now we want to go into um, what really the main purpose of this webinar is. And it's to show you how you can do even more. And one of the ways is to offer your current services even more efficiently to your clients. This, this makes those services more profitable. And it gives your staff the time to deliver additional services, maybe additional services that are that you can bill out for more and also more valuable to your clients. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into um, the write-up. Now I showed you how our write-up is already set up pretty well to make for good, fast, heads-down entry, and that's good, but how can it be even more efficient? First of all, use a professional write-up system that's made for write-up work, like ours is. And second, to use something that we call bank feeds to download bank and credit card transactions. Uh, the bank feeds are simply uh, going out to uh, the client's bank and downloading the information. So let me give you a little background or just to show you a little bit of how the bank feeds work. Um, the first thing you would do is you send out a, an email. You can send them out in bulk to your clients so that your clients can then click on a link. They can be right on their uh, smartphone. They can be at their computer. They click on the link. It'll take them into a screen where they are connected to the bank, basically. And then they, by giving the, um, the login and the password or entering that information, they then give the permission later for you to come in and upload transactions without you having to come after your clients to get it. Now, you're never able to actually get into your client's bank, bank um, online banking. You can only get the transactions, which that makes it that you don't have uh, any uh, liability there from, from being in their systems. So anyway, you would come to uh, banking, uploads transactions from eBank statements. You enter what you want to do. You enter the period that you want to be importing for. for 
will always remember what you've done in the past. Like here it says that they've been imported from 226 2016 to 3 4 2016. So then maybe the next one in this case, I'm just doing a, a week just to make it a little easier to show in the thing rather than having hundreds of transactions. And when you're doing it, you can choose to do it weekly, monthly. Most people choose monthly, but it could also be quarterly or even even at a, less frequently. So after you click bank feeds, the program goes out, it gets the information. Typically, like for 100 transactions, it takes maybe 10 seconds for them to come, probably a little bit less. And then it'll let you know. Uh, there were 32 new transactions that were found. There were no matches found with existing transactions. And when you're doing write-up, you wouldn't really expect there to be matches with existing because this is to be bringing in new transactions. It's not to be um, to be helping with the actual bookkeeping where it would bring the transactions in. And then we find out all the unidentified vendors. The system has a powerful log a powerful program to um, to match the vendor names with vendors that you already have in the system. But you know, from time to time, customers will have uh, your clients will have uh, new vendors, and so what happens is we'll list them all that that couldn't be matched right down here, and then you can choose to either add a new vendor, or you can also choose to. Um, add a va an alias. Sometimes the name will be a little different on a bank statement than what the actual name of the vendor is. So then the next time it comes in, even though maybe the vendor name was Allstate or something, if it sees got you covered, it would know to, to also match that to the same uh, vendor. And as you do this, each time you do it, when you import the next time, there'll be more and more matches because as you go on you're, you're getting more and more of them entered into the system which means less and less work for uh, you or your staff. After they're imported you can go right ahead they'll all come right into the system. All right, I just wanted to show one more thing here you'll see all the um, all the um, expense accounts will automatically be there so you don't have to enter that. If you ever wanted to edit one, you would just click on it. It'll pull it up over here. You can edit it and change it. You also have the ability to search through here looking for particular transactions if you needed to, to find a certain one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's what the bank feeds are. Now, what are the real advantages? I mean, of course, it's pretty. some of them are pretty obvious. Dramatically reduces data entry time. I, I've done a good amount of write-up work in my time. I was never really that good at it, at it. So for a guy like me, it really reduces the data entry time. But even those uh, bookkeepers that uh, that just fly when they're entering the transactions, no matter how fast they are, if you have 100 transactions or 120 transactions, it can never be quite as fast as doing it this way. So it really does, in all cases, dramatically reduce data entry time. It reduces errors. Uh, it's, sometimes it's pretty hard to enter 100 transactions for uh, three periods in a row, and you don't accidentally enter uh, $120 instead of $12 or something. So this way, you never have that problem. The numbers come ex across exactly as they were in the bank. And you never have the problem of trying to locate where the error was. First, you find out you made one. The next step is trying to go through all the transactions and see, well, where was it wrong? So it can reduce those type of errors. It saves the time and aggravation of getting data from your clients. Uh, some clients are, uh, are really good at uh, getting you their information. Uh, they're always bringing you stuff. You don't have to go after them. But other clients, you really have to chase after them. Uh, if you want to do... Um, write-up work, or, or also anything else that you do with clients. I'm sure that most everyone has some of those clients. That getting information from them is like pulling teeth. So once you've got the bank feed set up, you save that time and aggravation of getting the data from your clients. And because now you're able to go out easily 
on a frequent basis, you're able now to give real-time advice to your clients. Uh, a lot of the write-up work that is done, it's done right before uh, the tax return has to be done. And so write-up work is done in uh, February, March, and you sometimes you're writing up a whole past year, and you really can't give a lot of uh, good, fast advice to your clients anymore. And things happened maybe 10 months, months ago. Maybe they needed the advice at that point. Well, I see your expenses are getting a high, a little high in, uh, in um, maybe uh, rental or, or marketing or something. You, you'll be able to see when things are getting out of line at an early time and give that real-time advice to your clients. It can speed up the bank reconciliations, in this case because everything came across exactly the way it should be, and also if your clients or your staff are actually entering checks and doing bookkeeping for the client, then the bank feeds will match with what came in and mark mark those checks that came in as being cleared and those uh, deposits as being cleared. And it really can reduce the tax season crunch time stress because now you're able to do work during the course of the year easier than before. You don't have, on top of having to get all the tax returns and everything else done in that uh, short period, you don't also have as much write-up work to be doing in that short time period. So it really does reduce tax season um, stress. So that's one way. Uh, another thing is you can minimize your client's bookkeeping errors. This is perhaps the biggest drain of time in accounting practices. I know with uh, um, probably our biggest uh, competitor, they constantly are offering webinars, three-hour webinars on how to save time correcting client errors. And that's because it's recognized it's easy for clients who who get their own software and are told to go ahead and do everything on their own to make a lot of errors. So the answer here is to use a professional accounting system that lets you limit client access and also set up things in a way that they can perform the functions they need to perform easily. The, the main way that this is done is with our permission screen. And in the permission screen, you set up what you want the client to be allowed to do. So say you have a client, and all they really want to do is just to be able to write checks. You can come into the permissions and keep them from doing anything else. You can just come in and give them the rights to write checks. That's it. They're not going to come in and uh, foul up the chart of accounts or um, go to the journal entry screen and, and do think they should do something there. You may have a client who wants to make invoices and also receive invoices and also to enter bills and pay the bills. So you can set it up so they can just do that. You basically have the, uh, the opportunity to give uh, many, many different levels of permissions here. So all the way from almost giving no permissions just for one or two things, or you could give no permissions and just have it set up that they can just uh, review the financial statements. So you could come here and just say review financials. In that case, you'd be doing all the entries, but yet they could still see it. Or all the way through to a client who does have a full charge bookkeeper and knows what they're doing, you can give them all the same rights as an accountant or almost all the same rights. The client never has the ability to um, print out a financial statement with a letter on it, you know, a letter from the accountant saying that they've reviewed it or this is a compilation or whatever it might be, because you don't want a, a client to be able to do that without you giving it to them. They also can't make adjusting entries. They can make general journal entries, but the adjusting entries are always restricted to the accountant. And when a period is closed, the client can never go back in and make a change in that period. Although the accountant can easily open up the period to allow the client to go back in and make changes. But once you've closed it, the client can't accidentally go in there and do something. 
So that's how you can take existing services and make them more profitable. But there's also the ability to offer new services. Now, if you're already offering any of these services, uh, we hope that you're going to learn the ways to make them even more profitable by what I'm showing here. And these are just a few different ways. I can't show everything that could possibly be done to, uh, to increase what you can offer to your clients. So it's easy to offer end-to-end -end client accounting services. These functions, they can be performed right from your office faster than ever before. And many times these things can be done faster, more efficiently, and your client can save money by having you do it for them, as opposed to buying or paying either a full-time bookkeeper or even a part-time bookkeeper. So anyway, you can uh, pay bills, you can report, record payments that we've received for your clients, you can do the trial balance work, fully customizable financials, it's easy to do monitoring, you can uh, do budgeting, and you can become a virtual CFO, and I'm going to show a few things later that you can do. You can watch uh, the key performance indicators, and you can offer, as I mentioned before, the real-time uh, business advice. So first, comprehensive accounting services. Now, in general, clients don't like doing bookkeeping. Clients don't like doing accounting. So then why do they do it? I mean, they do it because they feel they have to do it. They feel maybe it'll cost too much to have an accountant do it. Or they don't know that they can have you do it cheaper than they could have a bookkeeper in their office doing it for them. But with the right cloud solution, your staff can do what your client's staff does now, only they can do it faster, easier, and more accurately all without leaving your office. So this makes it that you can offer the highly profitable complete accounting services. Basically what happens here is you give the clients what they want, less accounting work, they do less accounting, and the client makes more money and you make more money. So I'm going to go through one of the things that, that you can do, and this is like a bill payments process for the client. So the, the streamlined bill payment process kind of works that the client takes a snapshot of an invoice. This can be done from any smartphone. The invoice is saved in accounting power. When your staff logs in, uh, all the uploaded invoices are displayed. They enter the invoices. Then with just one mouse click, they can send the invoices to the client for approval. The client approves the invoices, and the approved invoices are paid. So let me, let me go through a little bit in more detail the steps. The first point is you send a letter to the client letting them know that you want them to be able to, uh, to take the pictures of the invoices they have and to then um, let you offer the service to them. And while I'm not really going too much into the detail on these letters, but I'm going to show a little bit of the screen, you can do this in bulk with your clients. You go right to a screen, you select which clients you want to send it to, and you send the emails out. And like I mentioned before with the um, bank feeds, when the client gets the email, they'll receive an email, looks just like this. All they do is when they're on their smartphone, they just click on this link, and it will set it up for them so it'll be easy for them to uh, take the pictures of the invoices. So once that's in, they would log in on their phone. This is a little screenshot I did from my uh, smartphone. They would log in, they come here, and they can select. There's a few different things they can do. They can send bills or invoices in. They can also take pictures of cash receipts for you to enter. And also in case if you're tracking uh, the W9s for vendors, that can be done through here. And as time goes on, we'll probably be adding more, more options. So in this case, it was bills to be paid. They, they're out, maybe they're at a client or they received it in the mail. They select which vendor it is. They just click on it. It brings up the list of all the vendors. In this case, uh, we have a little uh, pretend invoice from Dusty Roads Travel. So they, they select Dusty Roads Travel. They select the documents, and they're taken to this screen on their phone. People nowadays are very usually pretty familiar with doing this 
people are always putting things in Facebook or somewhere else, and all the phones, all different applications work pretty similarly. Then they they take the picture of the invoice. All I did is I printed out a pretend invoice on my desk here, took a picture. They say to use the photo. It goes right into um, here. They say upload, and then it goes to the system. Now the next step is the workflow, how we've set up a nice screen for following the workflow through the different steps. So this is the client activity screen. And you'll notice on this page, under un unprocessed bills, it says three. So this means that three bills have been uploaded by your client for you to enter. You could click on the top here, and it would sort them and put the ones with most unprocessed bills so you'd know who has work waiting for you to do. So once uh, you or your staff sees that there's three, that there's bills to be processed, you simply would click on that client and go into them. And then when you're in the enter bill screen, you'll see that there's three unprocessed bills. Click right there. There'll be a drop down of the different bills that were, uh, that pictures were taken of and imported into the system. All you do, you click on it, it'll default to the proper, uh, the proper vendor, it'll default to the proper expense account, you can see the, the actual invoice right here, so it's very easy to make the, to fill out the invoice. And then after that, you would simply save it. And the other thing here is, this is good for this, it's good for entering invoices. This is also a very powerful thing to have. Uh, say a year from now, maybe it's an audit or, or some other thing, they're trying to figure out where did this number come from. When you go to this bill, you'll always be able to pull up the exact source document that the bill was done from. from. So no more uh, going to the files, trying to find the bill, it turned out that it wasn't, it wasn't uh, filed correctly or something. It's always easy to find that information. So now, if you notice on this screen, under White Horse Sales, there's no more unprocessed bills, but now instead of six bills to be approved, there's nine bills to be approved. So what you do, and you, once again, you could do this in batch, is you just come over here and select which clients you want to send an email out for them to approve the bills. Then you would click on the email, and it goes right out to the client. And just like that other, the other picture I had for the um, introducing the service where they just click on the link, once again, the client, they, it's very simple for them to do this. They can be right on their phone, right on the computer. All they do is open up the email and click on the link. And at that point, a screen pops up for them to approve the bills. It'll list all the bills that haven't been uh, paid that are waiting to be approved. They can select, select to pay all of them. They could turn, you know, select to pay some of them. If there's one that they want to pay a different amount, for some reason they don't want to pay the whole 2,000 of Cable Insights, they want 1850, they can choose a different amount. They can see at the bottom the total of all the payments. They can also see how many were selected. This way they know uh, how much money they're, they're committing for, to be paid. And after that step, they simply click on Approve Payments. A little screen comes up, they can specify which date they want the payments to be made. And then after that, they're now ready for payment. So now there was one that had been turned off, so it wasn't approved to be paid. And But now you would come in here or your staff would see that uh, there's bills ready to be paid for that client. And what this screen does, it just helps walk you through each step and to monitor the, the workflow for this process for your clients. And at that point, the next step would simply be to, to pay the bills, print the checks. So now let me go a little bit more into payroll. Payroll can be highly profitable. Today, accountants have access to um, payroll solutions like payroll relief that can process payrolls faster, easier, and more efficiently than even payroll service bureaus can. Using these solutions, thousands of accountants have turned payroll processing into a highly profitable uh, business. 
in payroll relief, once the payroll is done, automatically all these other things are done. All the calculations are done, the direct deposit is done, tax deposits, e-filing, and even the more complicated things such as child care and garnishments. Uh, we have links with the 401k providers and, uh, and a lot of other things that take it even a, an extra step. And as I showed before, you can eliminate a lot of data entry and check printing in your office by using the, uh, the exporting to Excel and bringing it back in, and also by sending the checks directly to the cloud cabinet when the payroll is done. And finally, which is good, you can set it up that the fees from your client go directly into your bank account. So the end result here, the end result is that payroll can be turned into one of your most profitable services. It can add tens of thousands of dollars to your bottom line. We have many people who have done this. It requires little professional time. Once it's set up, most of the grunt work is done by the computer, which is very little additional work needed from you. And it's a perennial revenue stream. Uh, clients need to have their payrolls done every week or, or every other week, when, when it, however they have the payroll set up. They need to have the payroll done. The uh, payments need to be sent out to the, uh, to the state and the federal services. The proper forms need to be filled out and done, but you don't really have to do very much to do them. So the client needs it done. It's a little bit of work for you, giving a real good revenue stream there. So th that's a couple of things there. Now, add value to your client's business. And once again, if you're already offering any of these services, you're going to hopefully learn ways to make them even more profitable. So the first thing is virtual CFO tool tools. We have a snapshot, a dashboard, ratios, performance analysis report, and a lot of things that can really give you the ability to be a CFO or virtual CFO for your clients. The client snapshot. The client snapshot is a way, sort of like what I showed in payroll, where you can see all of your clients in one spot. You can see important information, a little bit of important information about each client, cash balances, what their receivables are, outstanding, how much payables they have outstanding. And you notice a few of these are in red. That's because you can set up alerts. You can set up alert that if an accounts receivable goes above a certain amount, that you'll be notified. And these are client specific because uh, maybe above 500,000 is high for one client, whereas another client over a million might not be high. So you can set it up according to the clients. You can set up if a check is written for above a certain amount that you're notified. So this way, you know, if you see your client never has a check more than 10,000, all of a sudden they have a check for $27,000, you know there's something out of the ordinary. You call your client, you say, I notice this. Uh, of course, 99% uh, of the time it's, uh, it's uh, legitimate and normal, but the client gets the feeling and the knowledge that you're right on top of their situation. So that's how the client snapshot works. Now the dashboard is the complement to the client snapshot. This gives you a lot more information for one particular client. So um, you can come in here, you have graphs for income comparison, you can, could select other graphs to compare against uh, budgeted expenses, budgeted income. You can uh, see the gradual trend of income. You have a lot of quick links to different places. Say if, in, like in this case, the receivables were high, you could go to the, to the dashboard and from the dashboard you can see, well, you know, I see the Yellowstone back country. A lot of those receivables are because of that one client. You can call up your, your client and ask them, well, what's going on there? You could also click on the due date and see which ones are the oldest. So you could uh, get in touch with your client and projected balances, cash balances, and analysis of the various expenses. So there's a lot of things here that you have between this and also the ability to enter ratios, which I'm not going into at this point, but you can enter ratios and compare them against industry standards and see how your client is doing. 
And the final thing that I want to show is the performance analysis report. Performance analysis report, sort of like what I mentioned with um, the cloud cabinet before, you can have it set up that when you close a period or close a year, you can set which reports you want to either email or put into the cloud cabinet for your client. So very, it's very easy for you to say, I want the performance analysis report and uh, maybe the income statement and balance sheet to go out to your client at the, every time you close a period. And what this does, when your client later needs uh, maybe their income statement a year from now, it's already there. They don't have to call you and get it. If they lost it or something, they just go right to the cloud cabinet and they can pull it up. So I think what I've shown you here were a lot of different ways that you can um, increase what you can offer to your clients, help your clients out, make money for both you and your clients. And so thank you very much for giving me this time. I enjoy showing the program and I'm going to give the presentation back to Divya now. Okay, thank you Dave. Um, so uh, hopefully all the attendees had, uh, had an opportunity here to learn a lot about um, how Accountants World Solutions can help you grow not just in one dimension in terms of trying to get new clients or offer additional services but across three different dimensions there. Uh, including being able to uh, to leverage more from your existing clients and, and be able to offer more value to those clients as well. Um, so a quick recap of what Dave has presented here and then I'll have a couple of closing slides here. Um, number one, you have the opportunity to make the services you currently offer much more profitable. Use bank feeds to make right up 30 to 50 percent more profitable. Um, use our collaborative uh, accounting system that you control to eliminate client errors, which makes trial balance much more profitable. You have the ability to add services that were hard to offer profitably in the past, including uh, complete accounting services, bill payment included, as well as payroll services. We know many accountants have thought about using payroll services, thought that it might be too risky or too low profit margin uh, to make it worthwhile, and that's simply not the case anymore with a powerful processing engine like payroll relief. And finally, the ability to add more value to your client's businesses by offering virtual CFO and client advisory services. One thing I want to mention is that in order to realize these benefits, you have to have the right fee structure. And the right fee structure is a simple fixed fee model. Um, now, I know many accountants continue to use hourly fee or use a hybrid model. Uh, and, and we like to say the only rational justification for charging hourly fee is if you still use paper and pencil. Because with the hourly fee model, the more efficient you become, the more time you're able to save in your processes, the more money you lose. Um, and that obviously is not what we want to see happen. We don't want to see you be penalized and punished for creating efficiency for you and your clients. Um, so what we look to do is to apply a fixed fee model to all of our services. Therefore, as you continue to become more and more efficient, you'll see some efficiency gains right away, some in the longer term, those efficiency gains keep paying off in your bottom line. You're not increasing your costs, uh, you're decreasing your costs, and you're increasing your revenues as well. So uh, I, I want to talk briefly about the, uh, what you've learned in this presentation and see what your thoughts are. And I suspect that many of the thoughts that you have probably fall into one or both of the categories that we see here on, on this slide. Um, so many accountants will say things like, I'm not ready for the cloud. I loved your presentation. I like what you have to offer. I do believe it can lead to better efficiency and growth of the bottom line uh, of my practice without me having to hire more staff, but I just don't feel like I'm ready for the cloud. Others will say, well, data migration is a lot of work. If I migrate over to your system and use Accountants World Solutions, it's going to take me a long time to be able to uh, migrate my data. Or people will say, well, I want to do what my clients want me to do, right? Whatever my clients want me to do, that's what I'm going to do. They want me to use QuickBooks, that's what I'm going to use. Um, and to us, you know, what does that tell us when we hear thoughts like that? A lot of times I wonder if these thoughts could be the signs of fear of change. Now, if we look at column B, in this one we've composite thoughts that come to the mind of what we like to call power accounts. 
the accountants who are most likely to be successful using our products and services. These accountants know that migration to the cloud is inevitable. That's going to happen one way or the other. And what these accountants are looking to do is to be proactive about it and make the most of it. They also realize that they're a trusted advisor to their clients and that if they lead their clients and explain to their clients why they're leading them in a new direction in terms of the software solutions, they can save them time, they can save them money and offer them more value, um, their clients are going to go along with it. We know that that's the, tr uh, that's the truth. There have been surveys about the power of accountants with their clients that demonstrate that to be the case, um, and power accountants who realize the power that they have there. Power accountants also realize that this tremendous opportunity is not going to exist forever. There's a unique window of time right now um, to be able to take advantage of this opportunity and really get ahead of the curve um, in terms of taking advantage of a better cloud solution. So um, in terms of some of the concerns on the left-hand side, data migration, um, Accountants World helps with the entire data migration process and frankly it's much less complicated uh, than most accountants fear that it's going to be but we have uh, specialists who will help you with data migration and provide support, uh, both product support and technical support throughout that process. Um, and we'll provide you with materials to share with your clients to help explain the migration and how they can benefit from it. So um, if you have uh, clients who, I, and one other key thing here is that power accountants know they can implement the new system very strategically. Virtually all of you have some clients who still write manual checks for their business expenses. Well, a power accountant will probably first use accounting power for doing their books. That alone saves them a significant amount of time. Another smart thing they do is to let their client base know that now their firm can relieve them of the burden of accounting work so that they can focus on their businesses. If you tell a small business owner you can do less accounting and you can do more managing your business, that's obviously very, very attractive to them. So the power accountant can take over all the accounting work of the client who wants to outsource it and often do it at less cost. Now notice there's very little convincing to do that. It's just letting clients know about the service that many clients are going to be eager to take advantage of. Then power accountants slowly bring those clients who want to do some work themselves. Because you can customize accounting power in the way that Dave showed before, you can make it simpler uh, for your clients to use that system if they still want to. So they can switch over to accounting power as well. Accountants know that one system um, is not going to be ideal for every single client. So the ability to set up the system for every single client and then let the remaining clients use the system that best meets their needs, it's rather than being one size fits all, it's one size for every single client that best meets their needs. So, um, you know, the last thing in client A, I'm too busy, right? So a client who says, uh, an accountant who says, I'm, I'm simply too busy to do this, a lot of times they'll go through a number of demos and continue uh, to say, well, that looks good, but I don't really have the time to do this. Um, and we believe that power accountants, uh, in our experience, will often buy the power practice system or payroll relief after just one short demonstration like the one that Dave did today. And the key there is two things. Number one, knowing that we're going to be helping with the data migration processes and process migrations. And number two, as you'll see in a minute, we make the power practice system absolutely risk-free for one full year. So there's absolutely no risk to using it. It just means that you get to get started in it and begin the migration process and begin to see benefits much more quickly. So we want to present you with two options and whatever you feel is um, most appropriate for you. Um, so the first option for what we call power accountants is, like we said before, we want to commit to making it risk-free and easy for you to enhance your practice. Ever since we created Accountants World, our first commitment was we're going to create new opportunities via the cloud. And then secondly, we're going to make the products highly affordable and make upgrading to our products risk-free and supported. So the power practice system, which includes our professional accounting system, our bookkeeping system, uh, our cloud cabinet system, our website program, document management, practice management, all of the things in that bundle we saw, typically that's sold for $2,195 for a full year. We're now offering it only to webinar attendees for $1,695. That's a $500 savings. You're looking at about $5 per day. That 1695 figure, you won't see that anywhere on our website. That's only available to people like you who are attending the webinar today. 
Same thing for payroll relief. Payroll relief. You can process unlimited payrolls for one full year for just $1,345. It's more than 10% off of the list price for payroll relief. Both of these solutions include risk-free use for one full year. If at any time you feel that the power practice system or payroll relief are not helping you to make your practice better or more profitable or just doesn't meet your needs, simply let us know and you can get a full refund anytime up to one full year. We also include a complete product demonstration as you get started. We provide support with data migration and implementation of the system. And we provide free unlimited support uh, on an ongoing basis as well. This is ideal for those accountants who want to get started and want to minimize their risk. It might seem like paying for a full year upfront is creating more risk, but this is 100% risk-free all the way throughout. Now, we also offer a second option, and I like to call this the issue there. Let me just put this back up. I apologize. Okay, sorry about that. Hopefully you are still seeing my main screen with option number two. Um, so the second option is what I like to call the dip your toes in the water model. So this is if you'd like to try it before you buy it, um, you can get a one month free trial of the entire power practice system bundle, including accounting power. Um, now in this case, there's no money back guarantee. Um, you're simply getting one month free and then paying the full $21.95 after that uh, for a full year. However, it still includes help with data migration, help with implementation, and free unlimited support throughout the course of the year as well. Same thing on the payroll relief side. Um, you would, after the first month, receive payroll relief for a full year, unlimited payroll processing for $14.95. So still, both of those are superb values. If you compare them to comparable cloud-based systems for accounting and for payroll, um, we are significantly less expensive. And as we saw before, we are five-star rated by CPA Practice Advisor. We've won innovation awards and you saw all the capabilities that they presented to you today. So you're getting a premium uh, solution uh, or a premium set of integrated solutions um, at really great prices, and you get to try it for one month free. So after uh, this webinar, um, oops, excuse me. Um, after this webinar, the next step is you'll receive an email within 24 hours. That email will include links for both options, option one and option two. You simply select the one that works the best for you. And if at any time you have questions, for example, after this webinar, simply call 888-999-1366. You'll see that number on our website as well at accountantsworld.com. And you can call that number and speak to a practice development consultant. They'll be happy to answer any questions that you might have. Uh, and be able to present the same offer to you on the phone as well. The last thing I wanted to mention, and actually my slide closed out on this, uh, was tomorrow, if you'd like to learn more about how we make payroll profitable, um, we're offering a profitable payroll webinar. Um, and you can go to payrollrelief.com. That's payroll, R-E-L-I-E-F.com. Um, and you'll see a link on there about our, pro our free profitable payroll webinar. You can also learn more information and watch our video demo on there. Um, so that uh, uh, webinar is tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern. If you'd like to sign up for that, that is the last time this year we'll be offering that webinar, uh, and it is free. Um, so I encourage you to go to payrollrelief.com and sign up for tomorrow's webinar as well. So I want to thank you uh, for your time today.